to believe in traveling. You've got to go out and do stuff. Of course I've had fun. I have fun everywhere, man. Every single spot we went to, like, there's something to remember. Like when my bike broke down. The roughest moments you remember a lot. Well, at least my fucking bike broke down on the Baja and not in Victoria. The day before, though, I knew my bike was running, running hard. I need that wrench. It's too loose. We rode for half an hour. People started passing me because I wanted to slow down and just enjoy it. So I got all that out of me and fucking the Canadians are behind me, Kai and Keegan. He pulls up beside me and I was smoking, man. I was smoking. I don't know, he was ahead of us and we pulled over and there's just oil everywhere. He was leaking oil last night and then it just looked like it blew up today. A man's always got to push his bike. That's sick, hey? That was dope. I don't know, I wanted to push my bike. I got a moment with it right now. And he knows I don't have many possessions in life except for my motorcycle. And he like makes fun of me for being a free spirit. Yeah, I'll go whatever, do whatever. But like, I'm gonna sound like a total typical Harley Davidson dude, but my bike is my life. Like when my bike broke down, Keegan handed me the machete. All right, cool. Like, yeah, it's not like, wow, all my anger and all my shit is gone. But it was like, whatever, make the best of the situation. I like the way this guy thinks. Got my fucking captain right there, like with me. So that, like, actually, that I like that that you were there, a lot. I was really fucking stoked. I don't know if that's like a teary moment or something for people who don't know me and this guy, but we kind of do a lot of shit together. So when it broke down, I was like, who else would I want to be beside me other than the guy I'd go across the country with? Good ride. trip like I did the trip a different way that's like all I think about in the truck is like oh man I hope we pull over somewhere where this where they need gas and we can skate something sucks too because there was like professional skateboarders there and I couldn't do it when they could have done like a really good trick. Ah! Heath and Keegan placed a bet whether I do it or not. He said no one could do it. Keegan said I could do it. So then, that, that, then when I heard about that too, I was like, I'm letting Canada down. Because like we're used to stupid spots that are really fucking stupid to skate and we have to work to skate them. So I was kind of like, fuck, I blew it there. But I don't have patience for things like that. I don't have patience at all. If I didn't, if I didn't do it in 10 tries, I was over it. For an ollie, no way. It was hot. That's my excuse. <laughs> no, I'm over this. But, I don't know, I think the next two days are gonna be a lot of fun. I can like even feel it in the group too, because... <laughs> I don't know, I think it's been hard on them riding a lot in hot weather, bugs, windy roads. But I think the next few days are gonna be a lot of fun. Which is good to think about too. When we were coming out of Mulahake, it's about 15 miles south, and we rounded a corner up on a hill and looking down onto that bay. I think everybody's stoke meter just went through the roof, you know. Every, that's what everybody expects from Baja. You want to see some crystal clear water, you want to see a big white beach and hardly anybody there. And we rode down there and stripped off our clothes and ran out in the water in our underwear. I think that was an epic point of the trip. It was just fun. Sorry about it. Floating in paradise with a beer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I rode a motor.
motorcycle here? That was insane. That was like a postcard. Fuck, man. This is kind of why, you know, this is what I signed up for. I honestly can't think of one high point, like, just kind of blends in. The whole thing is pretty magical, just the fact that we're all doing this, you know, like, and the whole thing is just amazing. This is like, this is living right here. This is how it should be. I know one day it's gonna end, so I'm definitely trying to take full advantage of it and just appreciate the hell out of it right now.